worship, worship, worship. There is a million answers to worship. But worship is another weapon that some Christians do not understand yet. But it is as powerful as any other spiritual weapon. So I call worship a weapon. It's, it's a way, it's the only way. I think it's actually the easiest way because it's all about just praising. It's not even about singing, just worship is a lifestyle, the, you know, honoring God. And so worship night, it's that night that we put together. Number one, it's a weapon. Miracles happen, battles are won. When Christians come to raise their voices and just shout, look at Jericho just shouting and Jericho went down. Yeah, One day I was watching a movie um, of a bad guy, and I like movies. A bad guy was, uh, was meeting this guy and he wanted to shoot him, like he wanted to kill him, you know, I'm gonna kill you today. And this other guy goes, please, please forgive me. And this guy was too bad and he said, my, my God forgives, my job is to arrange the meeting. Boom. <laughs> so it was funny, but my job is to also arrange the meeting. So me and my team, what we want is to have this stage set for people and Jesus to meet. That's why worship, worship, worship night gives me an opportunity. That, that, you know, it's stressing, it's stressing. We work with so many people. But at the end of the day, you have the question, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Because we want people to meet Christ. At the end of the day, it's not about the lights, it's not about the stage, it's not about the equipment. Though it's about that, you have to make sure everything is said. But at the end of the day, it's this moment where somebody will meet Christ. So for me, for me, I, I would love everybody. That's why you, you find me hanging around with some non-believers. There were so many non-believers in that stadium. They're always there. Why? Because I want them to, to meet this person called Jesus Christ. So for me, if somebody is to, 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 to get something from me, let him get Christ. For it is the bestest gift you can ever give your children, your friends. Because houses come and go, beautiful cars come and go. Imagine if you had one minute to leave and you have to Okay, let me give you two minutes. You're on, on your deathbed. See, you look at your children and you say, okay, I gave them good education. They got family. They, I saved some money for them. But it's not a guarantee that they will be happy in life, no matter what you've left with them. One thing you will be guaranteed, that God will be there for them in fire and in water. You can't guarantee to your child that, you know what, I, I, I took you to school, nothing will break your heart. Man, life is going to be sometimes hard. But if somebody is in Christ, life becomes easy. People in Jesus are like people in a, living in their own world. And though they are here. I'm a living example of that verse that says, gift us from the dust. I lost my mom to HIV, I lost my dad to HIV, I, le I lost my brothers. We were born five boys, three of them died. They were born HIV positive. I got only one brother called Brian, actually I got two with another stepbrother. Um, um, I, I lost everything. God picked me up. So I'm a living example of what God can do. Of, uh, he can lift anybody. If God can use me, he can use anyone.